right, Mustang fans, you know what day it is. December 5th, the big reveal of the next generation Mustang is finally here. And we're right here in New York City to bring it to you guys. We're starting things off right here at Good Morning America. The reveal is happening worldwide. Keep in mind, this is the first worldwide Mustang. So Shanghai, Barcelona, Sydney, LA, Dearborn, Michigan, and of course, right here in New York City. Now this whole day, full of Mustangs. We're gonna be here for the reveal first. Then we're gonna go to a press conference where we're gonna learn more about the 2015. And of course, we're bringing you guys with us every step of the way. You should know the deal by now. You have to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already to keep tabs on all these great videos, including the new 2015 Mustang. I'm excited to see the car. I know you guys are as well, so let's check it out. Well, here it is, guys, for the first time nationally televised, the 2015 Mustang, I have to admit, absolutely stunning in person. Now, you guys can see, this thing looks pretty sharp. It definitely looks a little smaller than the 13 and 14s in my opinion, but overall impression, man, very nice. Of course, for Mustang fans in North America, it's very exciting. A lot of new things to expect, new technology, new suspension. So it's a very exciting time to be a Mustang fan. All right, guys, love it or hate it, the next generation Mustang is here. And I think it's a beaut, man. It really does look sharp in person. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. We're on our way to our next stop, which is an invite-only Ford press conference. They're actually gonna have a GT there from what we understand, so I'm excited to see that. Let's go check it out. Now, just give you an idea of how much change we actually made. So if we can pull up the images on the screen, that's the 2014 Mustang compared to the 2015. And what you're hopefully going to see there is how much lower and wider the 2015 really is. We have now a 2.3 liter EcoBoost that we're bringing into the Mustang. The EcoBoost will put out more power and torque than the V6, and yet it's going to be significantly more fuel efficient. Our 5 liter is going to undergo some uh, overhaul, and it's going to get more horsepower, and it will also be more fuel efficient. What are we doing with the paddle shift is we're rev matching the downshifts, and when you take the car from drive and put it into sport mode, and then you use your paddle shifters, you're going to get quicker and more aggressive shifts. We did put an IRS in the vehicle, and everybody's been wondering, it has an IRS. It's a world-class interval-link suspension. So we ended up doing an all-new front suspension as well. So we have a double ball joint front suspension in the vehicle with a full subframe. More than 20 new technologies coming into the car. When you get in, you're going to push a button to start your driving experience. After that, you've got toggle finesse with one of those toggles will control the new feature of selectable driving. Mode. And you'll toggle between normal, uh, sport, track, and snow wet mode. So right next to that toggle switch are some additional toggle switches that will allow you to override those settings so that you can customize your own steering methods if you don't like the one we've chosen for you, or you'll be able to modify your electronic stability control or traction control. So all of this comes together to provide you a vehicle that is much more capable and easier to drive than any Mustang All right, guys, we just wrapped up the press briefing here at the 2015 reveal. Got to hear from all of the brilliant minds that went into making this incredible machine. And let me just tell you, there's a lot more going on than I originally thought. I mean, this car is just leaps and bounds above the 2013 and 14 Mustangs in just about every way. Most powerful Mustang lineup of all time with the EcoBoost motor, the V6, and the pumped up Coyote motor most capable handling Mustang of all time with a new independent rear suspension setup going on. Let's hop inside real quick and take a look. Just totally redesigned interior. It just feels more modern, and I think that's what they're going for overall with the 15. It's just pushing the car forward, getting out of that retro styling, which they've been doing since 05. But don't get me wrong, I love it. But in Ford's opinion, it was time to move the car forward, and they've done a great job with it. It's just a much better Mustang. I mean, that's the only way I can put it. I was a little apprehensive like you guys all were online. We all saw the renderings, we all saw the early leaked photos, but seeing it here in person, it's the only way to appreciate this car. And I can't stress that enough, guys. You really have to check this thing out in person and make your own final judgment. All right, here with Dave, chief engineer of the new Mustang. How are you doing, sir? Hey, man, how are you? I am great. The, the car is amazing, man. Well Thank done. You. Now, boss, some boss internals we're hearing about. Can you be a little bit more specific about that? Yeah, Which, so, good, where are you getting the extra power from? Yeah, so a couple of things. We learned a lot from the boss on how to make the engine breathe better. So we have larger intake and exhaust valves. We've got a revised camshaft lifting those valves higher. Uh, we have new heads to port the flow a lot, a lot better. And then we're using like the valve springs uh, out of the boss. We're using the forage connecting rods. So maybe a little higher revving engine? Uh, it's not going to rev any higher as far okay. as the red line goes. 
but you are going to get more horsepower out of it and, and more uh, torque. Any numbers you can give us right now? Well, we're not sharing numbers now, but okay. you've seen us take the uh, 5 liter from 412 to 420 horse. Yeah. Well, we're going to take yet another step forward and we're going to make everybody happy. The Eco Goose is making its introduction into the Mustang for the first time. Yep. Tell us a little bit more about your experience with that. So the EcoBoost technology has been phenomenal, right? Now for the first time we're adding a new EcoBoost, a 2.3 liter to the family, specifically designed to be in this machine. I've been out on the track with it, I flogged it. I'm telling you to put a smile on your face. It is absolutely worthy of being in that car. So killer gas mileage, over 300 horsepower. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a V8 guy through and through, but it's kind of hard to beat those kind of numbers. I will tell you that you will definitely enjoy it, I'll tell you that. We're here with Murray, Executive Design Director. First off, sir, I just want to say congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. You can finally take a breath, right? Yeah, I know. Well, let's talk about probably one of the most changed areas, yep. the rear end, Murray. Yep. What are you thinking about the rear end? Um, well, I think, you know, one of the one of the things that's very important is, is the, the tri-bar tail lamps. Very important to keep that, but we wanted to do them in a much more modern and exciting way. So, so we've really used new, new LED technology, not just to give the cars a beautiful lit appearance, but also the unlit appearance with so much three-dimensionality to, to the actual forms as well. So, so although you know it's the formula Mustang, it's done in a very much more. Well, and Murray, that classic kind of icon happens up front too yeah, with exactly, the gills yeah, from yeah. the '64 yeah, and '65 exactly, yeah. Mustang. So. Yeah, we're waiting for people. Some people recognize that. We sort of paid homage to the to the Absolutely. first car with the gills, and we turned those into daylight running lamps. There's nothing subtle about Mustang. It, it needs to be this fist. For, you know, you want to see it in the mirror coming behind. You want to recognize what it is. All right, we're here at the Ford after party. Obviously, it's been a long day. We've been up since 4 a.m. Now it's time to blow off a little steam, but not just a good time. I mean, we're actually checking out the Good Morning America Fastback 2.3 liter EcoBoost. 2015 Mustang here. Very cool stuff. You actually get a good feel of the fastback right here. You can see the angle, see the very cool rear end. And again, 2.3 liter four cylinder motor, great fuel mileage, but guess what? Over 300 horsepower. So this thing should be pretty nasty. Well, guys, that's going to wrap us up here for the 2015 unveiling live from New York City. It's been one heck of a day. We saw Good Morning America, the press briefing, and now the after party where everybody's blowing off a little steam and we get to check out both cars here in the flesh. I'll be the first to tell you, I was skeptical on how this car was gonna look after seeing the renderings, seeing the spy photos, but I said, again, seeing it here in person, the car just looks amazing. And it's just leaps and bounds over the S197 in many different ways. And I encourage you guys to give it a chance before rushing to judgment. We cannot wait to give this thing a chance, get behind the wheel, get our hands on it, go crazy, make it our next project car when it does launch, and you know we'll be all over that. You guys have to stay up to date with our blog so you get to see all the latest 2015 news and rumors. And of course, if you haven't already, click the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I think it's time to enjoy the party. We've had a great day up here in New York City. And for everything to do with your Mustang, you have to keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.